Hey everybody, it's Christine. Today I have a new Easter video for you showcasing the Hip Hop Hooray collection from Simple Stories. And I am always inspired by these patterned papers that have all the two by two blocks on them. And I really wanted to do something specifically with that sheet of patterned paper today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start things off by cutting it down so that I have each individual square available to me. And I'm going to use those to create kind of a quilted look within my page. Now, keep in mind, Hip Hop Hooray is definitely an Easter themed collection, but it also is definitely a spring themed collection. So don't be intimidated by the fact that it has Easter in the title. Um, it is definitely very workable for the entire spring season. So what I'm going to do with this is actually a lift of myself that I've done before. Um, oh, goodness, probably about five years ago, I did this same thing. And what I did is I took two by two squares and built a heart that looks like a quilt square heart on my layout. And funny enough, I actually did that with Simple Stories way back when, when I did it before too. Um, no video for it because that was long before my YouTubing days. But I thought, you know, I love the look of that layout. Every time I see it, I like it. And so I thought, you know, let's just recreate it and have some fun with it. So as I'm putting it together, I'm considering a couple things. Pretty similar to what I think cultures consider. Um, colors next to each other. I want a good mix of darks and lights. I want a good mix of patterns. I want a good mix of squares with words on them and squares without words on them. All of those things. And you can see it's a pretty basic pattern to build up, um, but not difficult, not, not hard, but there are definitely some considerations to take as you create it because you don't want all of them, all your yellow squares bunched into one area or anything like that. The one area that I did do the same was using my half squares so the triangles those triangle corners I did do all on the same green patterned paper but I didn't use that one specifically anywhere else within the heart I was also intentional about trying to get certain ones on there like I knew I wanted some Easter bunnies in there I knew that I wanted several with the Easter eggs in there and so I'm trying to get those within there intentionally now if you're looking at my base right now and going what in the world that's kind of a weird choice you are correct. I am using just a cardstock base. So this is not actually going to be my base. I'm just using this to build my heart because it's easier to build it on something and cut it out and then put it onto my layout than it was to build it on my layout and find out that I didn't like the position of it. So this is strictly a positioner, if you will, for my base. So you can see right now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. And that way I can make sure I've got it on there straight. I can also make sure that I've got it where I want it. If I want it further down into the corner, if I want it more in the center of the layout, all those things um, that would be unable to be fixed if I was gluing each square down straight onto my base. So just really taking a step out of it um, as far as the possibility for, for messing it up. <laughs> Um, and the possibility for tearing it back up. Um, so now you can see I have placed it onto a yellow patterned paper base. You'll also see I'm playing with my title and the title honestly took the longest of anything on this. I really had to mess around with things to figure out what I wanted to do for the title. And in fact, I kind of liked the direction I had the title going at this point, but I didn't like it for this layout the two did not fit together quite right. And so I ended up pulling the Happy Easter off of this layout and putting it onto a different layout, which I showed you last week. It was the one with the wood grain background and with the flowers everywhere. I ended up using that on that layout instead. It just felt like I was fighting my styles. That right now has a very loose, florally, soft feminine look and the rest of my layout has a very straight line graphic feel to it and so it just was not coming together quite right um but I leave it in there so that you can see like that's part of the process sometimes you just have things that you're like eh, what am I gonna do here now 
I'm also doing something else here, which is kind of different and definitely different from when I did this layout the first time. And that is I am pulling up the edges. Again, a very trendy technique, torn edges, distressed edges. Um, I, I can't seem to get enough of it. I can't seem to do a layout without it these days. And so I decided, you know, I'm gonna just pull up the edges on my entire heart here and create a really unique looking quilted heart, if you will. And I really liked the look of it, but it also threw me off because all of a sudden my nice straight lines weren't so straight but they were still kind of straight. And so I had this, basically a moment where I looked at it and I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work. I gotta put this thing to the side and walk away from it. Um, I liked the look, but I just didn't know what direction to go next. And so this layout actually got set aside for about 10 days until I came back and finished it. And you'll see, the point in which I changed my whole background for my video changes. So you'll see where I, I came back to it and finished things off. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I love this yellow background that I've got going on for my base. I am going to go ahead and map that with some white cardstock just to make it pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to use my final base background as that plaid, plaid patterned paper that you're seeing me put it on there. I literally took every paper in this collection and set it on top to see which one I liked best. And there was a lot that I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> But this one, I really liked the look of it. I also think my eye kind of caught, caught it because I have that plaid several times within that heart. And so it was helping to unify the whole thing. And so I definitely, that, that helped me pick that one, I think, specifically. And I knew, you know, like I didn't want a solid color. I knew I wanted something colorful. So there was just a lot of different factors to consider. But in the end, this was the very best one. Now you can see I'm getting my heart secured on there and I have played with this a little bit. You could see that the yellow paper was already a little torn up, um, but now we're going to switch gears. That was the point where I walked away and then now I'm coming back to it. I opted for a very simple title. I fussy cut Hoppy Easter out of some of the six by eight patterned paper pad and I fussy cut it because I didn't want any background. I wanted it to be that off-white color. And then I put a banner um, piece from the ephemera above it that says good times. And I'm just going to add a few little clouds there up above it. The next thing I'm going to do, and really one of the final touches in the layout, is I'm going to add some dimension and detail to these squares. So the squares come on that pattern paper, all cute, but they're flat. So I want to give them some extra detail. And I don't want to do that to everyone because I don't want it to be too busy, but I am going to do that throughout. So some of the things I'm going to add in include decorative brads. Um, I'm going to put some decorative brads in places where they'll look cute. I'm also going to add in some enamel dots. So right there you see me adding in a little teeny tiny enamel dot into the center of the wagon wheels. Um, I added some enamel dots into the bunny's cheek um, where they had the little pink spots. I added pink enamel dots there. Just some little things like that where I'm adding detail. Also using some stickers, some chipboard to give a little more detail to some of them that are just kind of a little more plain, like the hearts and the eggs. Just taking them up a level, if you will. Um, again, kind of thing that you could leave it alone and it would be just fine. But taking it to another level, using the supplies that you already have and are gonna probably get set to the side and not used, um, I'm always trying to have enough on a layout and not too much, but to also make wise use of the supplies that I have because I don't want them to get wasted. I don't want them to just get put to the side, um, especially if there are supplies that I really like. And that is the case with this collection. I just love this collection. So I wanna use up as much of it as I possibly can before the season comes to an end. So you can see me just putting all those together. And I do, also want to point out, look at how much dimension and what good separation I'm getting between my squares and that heart. Um, 
all of that, I didn't do anything. I didn't add dimensional adhesive. I didn't draw black lines, nothing. All I did was pull up the edges and distress things a little bit. And my goodness, doesn't it provide just fantastic separation in between them? Um, so much fun. Now, I'm playing with my title here a little bit, just kind of trying to figure out how much is enough versus how much is too much. <laughs> constant challenge as any scrapbooker knows you're always trying to figure out what's enough for me versus what's too much um and in this case you're gonna see I put down these butterflies and then I'm gonna pull them back up and and I end up deciding that was too much but what I do feel like I still want a little bit more on there so I'm just debating what I want to add in order to make it work so if you're like me and you're in the United States or Canada, you are probably homebound at this point. I would love to hear in the comments below, what are you doing to pass this time? Are you finding extra time to scrapbook? Are you spring cleaning? Are you just soaking up extra time with your kiddos? Um, what are you doing with this time? I am, to be honest, my life has not changed that much because I homeschool, I'm a stay-at-home wife, so I'm home a lot, um, but I am finding little bits and pieces of time to do some extra stuff, um, including making some extra videos, including trying to do a little bit of extra spring cleaning slash organizing each day, and of course trying to get in some fun crafty time as well. So I hope that everyone is staying healthy um, and that you are finding some enjoyment in this downtime. Um, I know it's definitely a challenge. Um, and probably if you're like me, you go from having some fun to being tired of being cooped up to finding something else enjoyable to do. But we're all in it together. So um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. I will try and keep churning out the videos so you've got lots to look at and watch and I'd love to see what you're creating too. Be sure to tag me over on Facebook or Instagram if you create something fun because I always enjoy seeing what you guys are making too. Thank you so much. I will see you again very soon with some more videos. Have a great night all and we will see you next time.